Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, this is kind of a harder video today. Today I will be discussing my sexual abuse story. So, yeah. So, when I was seven, I was put into respite residential in Drogheda. And as I said in my previous video, there was a few different instances of the sexual abuse. So I'll be going into them in a bit more detail in this one. So first instance, first incident I spoke about in the in the, my last video. So in this video I will be leaving that part out. If you want to go listen to the first part of it, go check out my other videos. <laughs> but um, second and third instance, like they're nearly the same thing. I was walking to my bedroom or. I was walking into the bathroom and he'd be there in the middle of the hall <laughs> with the fucking trousers down on him and he'd be saying to me, oh, suck me dick, suck me dick, suck me dick. Like, as I said, yes, I'm gay, but that doesn't mean at seven I'm going to be sucking dick. Like, so no. So, that kept happening. He tried to force me to do it, I pushed him off. He tried to force me the second and the third time, I pushed him off. Like, literally had to push him off. Um, the next two times then, like, he just got more aggressive with it, like, and there was times where I was in the bathroom that if I forgot to lock the door, which happened stupidly <laughs> a few times, he would come in, and when he'd see me there, instead of being a normal human being and walking out, he'd come over to me and all this, and started trying to touch me up, like. So... Yeah, that happened a few times, fifth and sixth time this stuff happened, exact same, like, you know, literally any time that he was alone and me, he tried to do stuff. So, obviously I reported all that, um, as I said in the previous video, I was not believed, I was apparently at eight years old, nine years old, I'm making up too many stories, and yeah. I wasn't telling the truth, apparently. I was making up too many stories. I was lying. I... It, they, in my opinion, they didn't believe me. They didn't believe me because they didn't want to look into it. They didn't want to say, yeah, we know this happened. Our fault. Because they wanted to hide. They wanted to hide away. I'm here just with every other sexual abuse case from the HSC. HC are here saying, no, we don't know about this, nothing's going on. Because they think that will make it stop. And that they think, then it'll all go away. No one will, no one will push for stuff to happen. So, <laughs> moving on to um, the psychiatrist that they, I suppose, subscribe me to. That doesn't really make much sense when I say it like that, but you kind of get what I mean. Um... So, and yes, I'm going to name names here. So, the psych psychiatrist that they gave me, Alan Dibble, that's his name, his actual name, and I hope he sees this, uh, just so that he realises that I'm not stopping, I'm going to get him done for what he was doing. He would meet with me a few times every, like, every two weeks, three weeks, or whatever, um, at the start, then he, then we heard nothing from him for a while, and then he started meeting up with me in the school. The school weren't aware that he was coming, he would just come. Like, that's unprofessional right there, because at least they should have some notes. But, there was, I'd say about three major things with this guy, and he was, like, he was just, he wasn't professional at all. So... One of the times, one of the three major times that he was just effed up, I suppose, is the best word to say it. <laughs> the best way to probably say it is, is that. Um, I was talking to him about sexual abuse that has happened to me. He seemed to believe it. I don't know if he did, though, because I'm a guy. Most people tend to not believe a guy's story of sexual abuse happening to them. Because they think it's so rare, women can't sexually abuse, whatever. Um, yeah, so I was talking to him about it. And then, next thing is, he brings in this 
young lad who I'd say was younger than me at this stage, maybe just a year or two older. And um, he says to me, he's right here because he's a, had the same sort of thing and you've done the same sort of thing. Like, as I said, I've never sexually abused, nor would I. I've been sexually abused. So no. Then he starts going, oh, this lad is sexually abused, such and such a person, blah, blah, blah. And he makes the young lad who is obviously not wanting to be there, obviously, like, you know, weirded out by this. And I was the same. Uh, he makes him tell me what he what he did or what he was supposed to have done or whatever. And, like, do you know what? I was just like, why the fuck is he making him say it? Like, why the fuck is this young lad even here? Do you know? And... Yeah, so that was the first name. Uh, part two of that is uh, when we were there the second day that we were there together, he'd have us in like a fitness room for breaks from the therapy. And um, like my foster mother even seen this uh, and has pictures as well. Well, he dragged me across. There was, there was these kind of like mats for like gymnasts dragging me along, do along one of those forcefully and my back was scraped, it was red, oh, my back was sore as hell for the next two days and I can tell you that. So then, third time, that was kind of the second and first time that it was weird, but this, as I said in the previous video, was hard, can be hard to believe. So. As I said, he met me in the schools, in the school that I was in, in the port camps. Because the school, because I it came out as gay, because I was, uh, because I have autism and because I have ADHD, well, I had ADHD at the time, they decided to keep me separate from all of the other children. So I was stuck in a classroom with an SNA, who was nice enough, but still. I, and uh, different, one of the other sort of like help teachers, like. Um, so he me, met me in the school anyway for a few sessions and at one point he says to me now everyone has the whenever I say this to people in person they have the exact same face as I had they said it they say he said to me so as you don't harm anyone else or hurt anyone else and by that he basically meant so that I just don't sexually abuse or hurt myself or whatever that I should have sex with animals <laughs> now I've yeah, you you heard that right. I don't even bother reminding. I looked at him, and I says to him, "Sorry, but can you say that again? Because I don't think I heard you right." And he says it again. You should have sex with animals. And I look at him, and I'm like, "Okay, um, this is very fucking weird." Like, that's literally how I looked, and I was like, what? <laughs> like, even at, I was like about 10 at the time, and even looking, and hearing that, I was like, okay, this guy is fucked up with that. There's something wrong here, you know, this does not sound normal or right or whatever. And obviously, it's bestiality, which I know now. I didn't know at the time that there was such a thing, but like, yeah. So... He says that to me, and I report him for saying that, because I thought it was really w fucking weird. Like, I reported him for it, and when I was forcefully moved from foster care to residential at the age of 13, we later on found out one of the two major people who were responsible for getting me moved was that psychiatrist, Alan Dibble. He was one of the two people, I'm not sure who the other one was because I can't remember now, but he was one of the two people that forcefully removed me. And that was because I reported him. That was because of the fact that I said what he said and he knew that he would get in shit. He removed me so that that problem would go away. Bye bye. Alan Dibble here, problem being me. Move him. Bye, problem. That's the way it was. He mo got me moved so that he could save his own arse. But, sir, what can you fucking do? So, every time I explain this to people, like, when I explain it, they look at me and they're like, 
<laughs> what? And they all have the same face I had when he said it. Like, I looked at him and I didn't know what to think. Like, government again because I'm not sponsored. <laughs> but I looked at him and I didn't know what to think. But sure, yeah, that was the psychiatrist anyway, and that was the sexual abuse. So, anyway, guys, if you want. Like, if you want more videos like this, and my life, and blah blah blah. So now if you want more of those sort of videos, just leave a comment down below and give me give me an idea for what sort of videos you want. But anyway guys, if you would hit that like, subscribe down below, wherever the button is, I think it's this side from the video. It depends on whether you're having a full screen or not. But, uh, yeah, so hit the like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see more videos from me. Anyway, see you again. Bye for now.